sur ta vie, c'est un très très important trial comparing uh, Corval with the surgery. And this uh, trial is a non inferiority trial, the rich, the non inferiority, and uh, with uh, a rate of uh, mortality plus uh, stroke around uh, 12.4% for TAVI and uh, 14% for surgery. So it's very, very close, and there is not, uh, it is a non inferiority, so it reached the uh, goal of this uh, trial. Uh, the important message is that uh, pe people who are in intermediate risk are not young, they are still around 80 years old, so it's a very important message. The uh, aortic stenosis is for old people, not for young people, the first one. And the other one is that we note uh, a decrease of the rate of uh, paravagular leak with TAVI. Which, uh, which are the rate for Sir Tavi. Sir Tavi is uh, around uh, 5% of uh, paravalvular leak. It's the first point. There is uh, also um, uh, a, de a decrease of the mean gradient when you compare to surgery. There are increase of the surface of the valve when you compare to surgery. So this is a very important point. There is one issue uh, is a pacemaker. The rate of pacemaker with, uh, Sir in Sir Tavi was around 25 percent, it's very high. However, this valve used in this uh, trial is an uh, old valve, it's not uh, Evolute R, and uh, the, the rate of Evolute R in this uh, trial was only 16 percent. So I think that in the, with the use of the new valve, this, uh, the rate of a pacemaker will decrease uh, considerably, dramatically. Uh, so it's a very, very important message for me because uh, now we have two trials in intermediate risk patients. We are in the same phase with the same results. We can now, I hope that there is a modification of the uh, uh, ESC guideline, and we can say it now with a patient with intermediate risk, it is a great uh, thing to, you, we can use TAVI and we can use surgery. Mm -hmm.